everyone, welcome to Rad Steel's awesome toy review. I'm your man, Rad Steel. Well, today I had a very pleasant surprise when I got home today, and sitting there on my porch was this mystery box from Hasbro Pulse. So let's go and get this bad boy open, and see what's inside. It is now time to unbox this mystery box. And just so you guys know, this box is addressed from Hasbro Pulse. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right down this tape and I want to be very careful that I'm not going to damage the box inside. Right here. Put this over, cut this here. You know, and I have a lot of things on back order from Hasbro Pulse, so this could be anything. Alright, nicely packed with a lot of bubble wrap. Oh wow, you guys are never going to guess what's in this box. It is... The Transformers War for Cybertron Quintesson Pit of Judgment. Let me go and pull this out. And you know something? I'm one of those collectors, like I mentioned in my first, first review. I believe that toys should be appreciated to their full glory. So I... Oh my god, this packaging is pristine. I've heard people talk about receiving this item and the boxes are damaged because the boxes also become a diorama. And this box, I almost don't want to open this. But just so you guys know, I am going to open this. Oh, this is fantastic. Well, for my next review, it's going to be the Purposon Pit of Judgment. But before I get into the actual review, I just want to go over the beautiful detailing on the packaging here and as you can see there's this awesome display window up front here showing you all the contents of what's inside of this set. Right here in the middle you have the Quintesson Judge. Standing here on the platform you have Cranix. You have the Quintesson Bailiff right here. You have the Quintesson Prosecutor and below Cranix you have a Shartacon. Not much is going on in the sides of the packaging. I'm just going to show you guys briefly what's on the side of the packaging here. But on the back you have a scene from the Transformers the movie here of when the judge, the judge is passing judgment on Cranix. You have, like I said, the Shotokan in the pool right here with all the Shotokans waiting. You have the Bailiff right here and you have the Prosecutor. Quintesson Pit of Judgment gift set. This set was first released to premiere members on September 23rd, 2020. It was later released to all members on September 24th, 2020 at the retail price of $69.99 and was available only at Hasbro Pulse with a one per customer limit. This set includes five figures, three accessories, and instructions. The figures include the Quintesson Judge, the Prosecutor, the Quintesson Bailiff, a Shartacon, and Cranix. This set is meant for fans ages 8 and up. Cranix. Cranix is a non-transforming, non-articulate figurine. He is inspired by the 1986 Transformers The Movie. Legends Class Shartacon. He is a Generation 1 inspired toy that converts to a Shartacon in 12 steps. He is a retooling of Titan Returns Legends Class Nah. His accessories include his mace. He is a redeco that features a duller metallic color scheme than the original Titan Returns Nah. Okay, let's go ahead and get Sharjakan transformed right now. So what they want you to do for the first step is flip his head up a little bit, like so. Then you split it open, like so. Then you go ahead and you flip the head all the way back. Those eventually become the legs. So. Then you go ahead and you remove the mace. Which is right here. Put that to the side. Then you take that, the, the head part and you flip that back up. Like so. Flip that part back up like so. Then you go ahead and you stand up the face. 
pretty much just transformed his legs. Okay, now for the next step, they want you to go ahead and they want you to flip these arms up like that. Take the other arm, and you also flip that up like so. Then you go ahead and you just turn the elbows around. For the next step, they want you to go ahead and turn around the shark to con, and you flip the jaws down. You go ahead and take the head, you turn that around, and you flip the shark fin up. And there you have shark to con in his robot mode. Let's go ahead and you put the mace in right here. So now he has mace one. Deluxe Class, Quinnison Bailiff. He is a 1986 Transformers the Movie inspired toy that converts to his beast mode in 14 steps. His accessories include an axe and a mace which can also be combined to form a staff. He is a retooling of Earthrise Deluxe Class Alicon with a new robot head, robot chest, upper beast mode head and shoulders. The Quinnison Bailiff is incorrectly colored and not based on either the 1986 Transformers the movie or the original cartoon. The shoulders restrict the outward arm movement more than the Alicon. Okay now we're going to go ahead and transform the Quinnison Bailiff. But first you start off by removing the axe. Alright the next step is you bring the arms to the side and over here you'll see that there's a little hole here and there's a tab here. And just gonna snap right into there, like that. Again, there's a tab right here, a hole right here. Just tab that right next to the arm over the side like that. And then you go ahead and you turn the fist down. Okay, the next step is that when you go to turn the figure around, then lift that tail right up. And it reveals the beast head right back here. Okay, you want you to go ahead and turn the figure back around. And then when you take this piece right here, flip that up, and you rotate the waist all the way around. Just like so. Okay, for the next step, they want you to go ahead and push the head all the way down. Then they want you to go ahead and bring the tail all the way in here and just click it right onto the back. So two tabs right here, right there, just push it down. Just like so. Okay, for the next step, they want you to go ahead and bring the legs out. Then bend them in. Do the same thing for the other leg. Out, bend them in. And you take the claws right here inside and flip those out. Those are the arms of the beast mode. There you have it. You have the Quintesson Bailiff in his beast mode. Okay, I mentioned earlier on that the Quintesson Bailiff is a retooling of Deluxe Class Earthrise Alicon. And I happen to have an Alicon on hand, so I'm just going to do a side by side comparison. So you guys can see the differences for yourself. There you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this around for you guys. Okay, now that I have Quintesson Bailiff in his beast mode, I want to go ahead and move him over. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Alicon. So you guys kind of see the similarities for yourself. There's, there's a few similarities, but there's a lot of differences too, like the shoulders here, new head sculpt like I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go ahead and rotate him around so you guys can see more of the differences between these two figures.
the prosecutor. He is a non-transforming figurine and his accessories include his little mini levitation. It kind of goes on to the bottom, holds him into place. He has one point of articulation, that's the head, it goes back and forth. The tentacles are nice and soft, they move around a little bit but they go right back into place. Deluxe Class Cornison Judge. He is a 1986 Transformers the Movie inspired toy that converts to a modular battle station in 14 steps. His accessories include a blaster, cage, throne, and levitation beam. His cage fits a Battlemaster class Transformer. The panel under death has an airlock system ramp that is meant for Slitherfang. Before I get into transforming the Quintesson Judge, I just want to go over some of his play features. Right over here, when you move it from its throwing, it's a little uh, trigger right here that helps rotate its head. You just go and you push that. I think it's a little clicking also. It kind of just feels like the movie in the end. And also, there's another feature. As you can see right here in the blaster, a little peg hole right here. And each one of the tentacles sports a couple of pegs. And if you can get the Gun to place with his peg hole, he can hold his blaster like so. I'm not sure if he did that in the movie, but I do remember recall him carrying a gun in the anime series. And if you want to store the gun, you take the gun, you can store it in the bottom of the throne. With little peg holes right here. Go ahead and just plug that right in. Get the gun stored. Okay, now I'm going to get into the transformation. First thing you do is you want to go ahead and you want to remove this cage from the top right here. Put that off to the side. Okay, and the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to flip all each one of the heads up. You want to flip that head up, that head up, that one, this one. And the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of rotate the figures because there's, there's little grooves right here. You're going to want to pull the levitation beam off, of course. And now you want to flip these doors down. And you want to make sure that there's like a couple tabs right here, let's see with the opening right here. And that's below the death head. So you want to go ahead and bring that down so it goes right in those grooves. You want to do the same here. Down because these these flaps right here are gonna pretty much going to support it and keep it standing. Do that to all the sides now. Put them all down. My hand out of the way. Go ahead and flip that down also. Then on the last compartment, you want to go ahead and want to flip that down also. Then take all the tentacles and put them in between these panels. Out of the way, so. so so now the panel should be able to be held up like so. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this to the side. I'm gonna grab this right here. And the next step is they want you to go ahead and move the cage in the dome. Then for the next step, they want you to take the dome, and they want you to take the lev uh, levitation beam, and they want you to go ahead and plug these two in together somehow. So. Then they want you to go ahead and take that and put that at the top of this. Okay, for the next part of the transformation, I'm going to push the thing over again. They want you to take the throne. And they want you to go ahead and open up the throne. Fold it out like that. Fold it out like that. And fold it out like that so it's nice and flat. For the transformation, apparently they want you to take this 
right here, this ramp right here, and they want you to plug it right into the when the cage opened up a little bit. Put this on. And this is all plays in that whole airlock system that was oops, that was the gimmick for um, Earthrise. Which makes sense because this figure did come out around the same time as Earthrise. Then they want you to go ahead and take the cage gun and plug the gun at the top of the cage. And you go and you just place the, the cage right on that platform. And I know I'm not a really big fan of the Quintesson Judge transforming, but since it is in the Transformer toy line, they make everything transform, even the arc, which I, I reviewed earlier on. Which I don't believe in the arc transforming, but neither do I believe the Quintesson Judge should turn into a jail. But you know what, it's a fun feature and just an extra feature and it adds more playability to this action figure. But I like the Quiz on Judge as is in this Judge form. I don't feel like he need, needed to transform, but this is kind of a cool feature that they did for, for the fans. This is going to conclude my review of the Quintesson Pit of Judgment. But I want to go over my own thoughts on this gift set. And I just want to say that I am glad to finally get my hands on the Quintesson Judge. I missed out on him when he was released in the Earthrise series. He didn't really make it on store shelves out here because he was released in the last wave of Earthrise along with Megatron. So I am so glad that once the initial uh, re-release for this figure came out, I jumped on that pre-order and I got him. As for the Quintus on Bailiff, I also feel like he's, he was a great addition to this set. And he was a great surprise and he actually he's really a really, really cool figure. You know, and although I do own an Alicon, I do feel like this, this figure is his own figure. And he, I wouldn't even look at him as a retool because he's so different. The transformations might be similar, but in the movie, I don't really recall if he had a transformation or not. I think he was just there to, to pull the, the, the lever so that Kranix falls into the pit of the Sharktacon. As for the Titan Return Sharktacon, I also think that's a great figure. It would have been nicer if they would have released a new mold, especially with this set. Which is kind of cool now because I do have my hands on a Studio Series Sharktacon now, which I'll go ahead and I'll review later on. And I, actually, I plan on reviewing that one next. So expect that review to come out within the next couple of days. And I will compare this Sharktacon now to the Sharktacon in this set. The disappointment for me was Kranix. And I say that because Kranix is not the scale. Kranix should be at the same scale as Cup and Hot Rod because they're right next to each other in the jail cell. And Kranix does have a uh, transformation that was designed for his original concept design. So, and he's supposed to transform into a, a futuristic car. But that was a little bit of a disappointment because this, this is probably one of the few opportunities that you're gonna get a Kranix toy and they could have given him a little bit more love. That would have been nice, like I said, if he had transformation and he was a little bit larger to more hot rod and cup size. I do really like the prosecutor. I kind of wish he also was skilled a little bit bigger, more more to size with um, the the bailiff here, because he does play a big role in the movie and in the anime series. And I hope. If they do bring this figure out in the future that he's scaled a little bit larger, but most likely we're not going to see another opportunity to bring these two figures out. But I do feel overall with all five of these characters, this is the great set to have. It's worth the price. It's worth the $69.99 that you pay for. And if Hasbro Pulse does have the opportunity to bring this figure out again, jump on the pre-order because I highly recommend this set.